That's well, great. You guys remember what Al Kasher used to teach? Yeah. He would teach that when the person was writing a Al musical. Al Kasher is a songwriter. Right, right, he is a songwriter. He's got two Oscars on his piano, by yeah, the way, yeah, so he, you tend to listen to him. Right. And uh, he's a pretty smart guy. And he's very inspiring when he talks about songwriting because mm -hmm. it's his main love in mm -hmm. terms of uh, a, a craft. And what Al would teach us is you get to a point in a musical play where the spoken word is no longer enough. Mm -hmm. And that's when, if you do it right, you burst forth in song. Mm -hmm. And I think wow. the Holy Spirit gets a new chance mm -hmm. to reemphasize words and re align ideas mm -hmm. and impact and especially to pluck the strings mm -hmm. on the inside mm -hmm. of people and it just becomes more powerful. Mm -hmm. I've always thought that the best time to have an altar call mm -hmm. in a right. service always... is right after the worship songs. Mm -hmm. And that happened one time because of a, I guess it was just sort of a procedural thing. There was something special happening right after the service, etc., etc., and they didn't want to have to move right from one to the other because they didn't want to have to interrupt the flow in terms of dealing with people who needed to be prayed with. So they thought, well, we'll have the altar call right after the worship set, and then we'll be able to move these people out to the side and work with them and still finish the service the way we want to. And all of a sudden, wham, there's a quadruple influx of new souls over anything they've had in the last however long. And I'm over there in my guitar chair going, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>